Hello everyone, I'm Bindu, Assistant Professor of Psychology. After a break, we are going to continue our discussion of psychology topic and the discussion is purely based on the syllabus of degree students. In the previous classes, we have already discussed about different approaches of psychology in which we have discussed the early schools of psychology which are the structuralism, functionalism and psychoanalytic schools of psychology and uh, then we have discussed the behaviorist schools of psychology and uh, humanist schools of psychology. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about the cognitive schools of psychology or the cognitive approach of psychology. Okay. This is entirely a modern approach. Cognitive approach is entirely a modern approach. This approach is focuses on how we think. This approach is focuses on how we think. Okay. It assumes that our thought processes affect the way in which we behave. Okay. The cognitive approach assumes that the thought processes, our thought processes definitely affect the way in which we behave. Okay. And this approach came in opposition to behaviorist schools of psychology. We know that what is behaviorist schools of psychology. We have already discussed the schools of psychology in the previous video. You just watch the video before and understand the cognitive approach. Okay. So, the uh, cognitive approaches assumes that our thought processes affect the way in which we behave. Okay. And it gives importance to internal mental processes. Cognitive approaches gives importance to internal mental processes. It assumes that there is uh, there is an internal mental process in between a stimulus and response. Okay. In which a, in between a stimulus and response. That is the cognitive approach assumes the mind actively processes information from our senses. Okay. The cognitive approaches actively process information from, from our senses and between the stimulus and response between the stimulus and response are complex mental processes and which can be studied scientifically okay the uh, the complex mental processes between the stimulus and response can be studied scientifically okay there is this, uh, there is a complex mental processes in between the stimulus and response okay okay then another point it assumes that human can be seen as a data processing system another point is human can be seen as a data processing systems so the modern approach the modern approach of psychology the psychological study of cognition is a relatively new area of study with its origins in the 19 50s with its origins in the 1950s. So, cognitive approach believes that internal mental process can be studied scientifically using experiment methods. And we know that the other methods such as uh, psychodynamic approach uh, which uh, which believes that the internal, men the mental processes, not the internal mental process, the mental processes can be studied by using inter introspection method. Okay, we know that what is introspection method. We have, we have already discussed here what is introspection method. It is a, a subjective method. Introspection method is a subjective method which is predominantly used by the philosophical and the psychodynamic approaches okay here the cognitive approach were rejected in favor of experimental methodology to study internal me mental processes scientifically okay i think you got the point and another point we have to discuss here another point we have to mention here the cognitive perspective 
the cognitive perspective emphasizes on emphasize on the consciousness rather than unconsciousness okay we know that the other approaches such as the psychodynamic approaches focuses on or emphasizes on unconsciousness rather than consciousness but here the cognitive approaches focuses on the community approaches emphasize on consciousness rather than unconsciousness and it use and it use the experimental you method okay uh, the cognitive method can use the experimental methods to study the internal mental processes it assumes that there is a internal complex internal mental processes between a stimulus and response okay this is what the cognitive approach explains in this view in this view is shared by the cognitive approach i think all of you get the point hope you enjoyed the video section and thank you for watching